Hello everyone, welcome back to my fourth Vlogmas video. I am here with mum and we're in the city. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas everyone. And what are we up to today mum? More shopping. Lots of Christmas shopping. We have to buy some gifts and that is so much fun. It always is one of my favourite parts of Christmas and mum is very good at Christmas shopping. She's like very organised. I, on the other hand, need her to kind of like remind me that Christmas is coming soon and that we need to get this done. So we're heading in now. We're going to grab a coffee first, but without further ado, let's get this video started. Let's go. Let's go. to Industry Beans on Little Collins Street to get our coffee. I've been going there a lot lately because I think it's my new favorite place to get coffee in the city. Second to the cafe in Albert Park that I go to all the time called The Guilty Moose. Those are like my two favorites. So cheers to a good, strong soy flat white. So we've just been doing some Christmas shopping and also some birthday present shopping because we have a few birthdays this month so I feel like it's been a really successful shopping trip and now I want to show you guys how busy it is in the city especially in Burke Street Mall I know I say this all the time but like the Maya windows the life of the Maya windows is actually crazy and I want to show you guys what I mean because you will be shocked I honestly don't think it's worth coming into the city to see the Maya windows on a weekend go at night or go during the week honestly it just gets too busy you can even hear how loud it is in the city times have definitely changed so this is what I mean by the line for the Maya windows look how long it is so it goes all the way there that's like the front of the queue and it extends all the way back over here now there's a lot going on we've even got a tram coming so I'm gonna take a step back but yeah, this is Melbourne at its best. It's so packed in the city, it's a bit overwhelming. I feel like actually the Royal Arcade isn't too busy now, so you can kind of breathe and walk and relax. But now it's time to go and get some lunch. So we're headed to the South Melbourne market. And I mean, some things never change. We're off to go get a smoothie. shopped until we've dropped honestly in a short period of time we've done a lot we've bought a lot of presents and we just stopped into Soham I believe that's how you pronounce it at the Royal Arcade and we bought some beautiful Christmas scented candles so it's been a very productive shopping day in the city Christmas list is slowly you know getting ticked off which is yes. all that matters it's great <laughs> it is I've had a very relaxing start to my Sunday this morning I just went and got a coffee and then I headed to the South Melbourne market got my groceries for the week and now I am back home and I thought I would show you guys a delivery that I received from a Melbourne based artist her name is Ash White I wanted to kind of unwrap this on camera I did show it on my Instagram stories but I thought I would show you guys actually unwrapping it and we can have a closer look at what's inside so Ash kindly gifted me some beautiful some of her beautiful prints that she has on cards on greeting cards wrapping paper and even some really cute Christmas mini Christmas cards too so I love Ash's work and I actually included some of her greeting cards in my Frenchies high tea goodie bags we also have some fairy floss which I love so let's open this up I mean, how vibrant, first of all, are the colors? I love, you know, a bit of color to brighten the day. You can't go wrong. So Ash actually sells this luxury wrapping paper, and I think it's just beautiful. Honestly, it's almost too nice to wrap a gift in, but I'll definitely be getting use out of them, especially at this time of the year. So this is a beautiful floral gift 
wrapping paper. I think it's perfect. And very retro too. I love my flowers, as you guys know. And then we have this Christmas wrapping paper, which I am obsessed with. I mean, how gorgeous. We have some gingerbread, candy canes, stockings, Christmas sweaters, everything that we love at this time of the year. So that's going to definitely make a great wrapping paper for one of my Christmas gifts. And then we also have some greeting cards inside. So let's take a look. I'm like a kid on Christmas day. Honestly, there are so many great things in here and this is just so generous of Ash. Now I love Ash's cards. We have this cute one, it says, love you. So pretty. Strawberries and flowers. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, this is gorgeous, especially for Christmas. So cool. And I will also leave Ash's website down below too in case you want to purchase some of her beautiful cards, which I think is so well worth the investment. And you're also supporting a local artist. Actually, here is Ash's website, ashwhite.co. So here you go. And then we have some really cute Christmas cards. And I've been very organized this year. I've written out my Christmas cards, but you know what? I feel like I might write a few more out. And these are great. They're almost like Christmas tags too. So you could even just include them inside, inside a gift bag. And then, or even, you know, kind of if you use ribbon on the wrapping paper, you could kind of attach this on as well. The back is blank. And then you've got this super cute Christmas print. And it even says Merry and Bright on it. So I'm just, yeah, over the moon with this. So big shout out to Ash. And I feel like you guys would really love this, which is why I wanted to include it in this video, because I know that if you're watching this, you must love Christmas as much as I do, surely. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. And also let me know, are you a Christmas card person? Do you like writing out cards? Because personally, as you guys might know, I think that there is an art to handwritten cards. I think it's a beautiful thing to do so thoughtful and it's kind of sad that we don't do it more so i really enjoy handwriting my cards and sending them out to clients friends family i think it's the most special thing that you can do at this time of the year i wanted to give you guys a christmas tree update so as you can see there are a few more presents under the tree there are a few presents that we've bought for others and that i've received as well i'm feeling very very lucky. I've got some beautiful presents from friends and I just keep them under the tree until Christmas because I feel like, I don't know, that's kind of the Christmas tradition in my family. We open all of our presents on Christmas day. Even though I've opened the presents, I think they still look great under the tree. And then yeah, yesterday we did some Christmas shopping. So we have a few bits and pieces over here too. So I'm just on the couch. I'm watching the holiday for, I don't know how many times I've watched this movie, but it's quite a lot and it's so good. I feel like each time I watch it, I just love it so much. It's a real feel good movie and I've got the Christmas tree lights on. I've just had a cup of tea. So I'm feeling very relaxed. It's yeah, nearly nine o'clock. So honestly, I'll be getting ready to go to bed soon, but it's been really fun filming this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I would love to have you on board and I'll show you my view as I watch the holiday. How good does this look? I mean, this, is very cozy and Christmassy. So yeah, this is where you'll find me for the rest of the night. I'll see you guys in my next Vlogmas video, which will be Vlogmas number five. <laughs> Bye guys.